Actually, Yosha, from what you said earlier, saying NERF actually doesn't hurt my voice too much. And we don't want a slingshot. But what I'm going to do is grab the pencil eraser and double check the shops in Tucson, because if what's in 3 is better, in, in fact, what's in 3 is going to be better, because we needed to get it there from Tucson. So I better upgrade uh, the silver bracelets at the very least. Now, I also have Teleport Anywhere turned on. So let's see if we can get out of here from here. Be a tight squeeze, but I think I can. I think I can. Yes! And while we're here, let's just unload that zombie paper. So if I wanted to, I could stay the night at the hotel, get the cutscene where all the zombies get trapped in the tent, and make my way to Saturn Valley. Through there. Through the tunnel, but since we already unlocked the teleport, it's not necessary. Now, did you have a weapon for Jeff? That's really what I want right now. Okay. I doubt we got 4,000, but I just gotta remember, that's where a Diadem of Kings is. Uh, grab all the money we can. Oh, not bad. Not enough for diadem, but that's okay. We're going to be spending it on other things first. And pretty nice. Now, did you have anything worth buying? Oh, you also had... Actually, yeah, want to sell... The Sandlot Bat. Oh, I can, uh, yeah, I can go to, I have, I have something for Applekid now, too. And the Holmes hat. So if Paula is in Peaceful Rest Valley, getting an immediate full party is excellent. Okay, I'm going to just save in here really quick to create a save point. Also check out the shops. Talk to Apple Kid. See what we can do here. Another nice feature they added. Much faster escalators. Oh, stun gun better than nothing. Yeah, fortunately, they put in a, a script to let characters equip uh, weapons if they if you buy a weapon from a shop that normally doesn't sell equipable items. Oh, uh, PSI caramels for sale. That's actually pretty nice. And that's all we got. So, uh, you know what? I just realized I didn't buy any OK pendants from the bakery in three. Let's let's fix that. And I may give the well, the wrong way, aren't I? No, nope, I'm just uh, further up than, than I thought I was. But uh, yeah, I may be able to take on the boogie tent now. Just gotta remember it's got a psychic shield on. Now, here's the thing. We don't know if the boss is going to transform or not. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if we can hit you with a counter PSI, that'll be nice. Jeff, fire the rocket launcher. I'm actually not surprised. I never use the counter PSI unit in vanilla. The 
And yep, Pooh, you're a healer. Uh, because I shield normal isn't gonna be that useful. So the rocket launcher, oh, that's right, you are solidified. I want to have both uh, Narf and Pooh heal up. Oh, we've got the power shield on. Up, oh, and he's transformed into Starman Deluxe. Quickly, heal, 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 heal. Thank you. Ah, I was just ho I was hoping to just uh, wait that out. But if this guy does not have a shield, and unfortunately we can only have one more bomb. Stellar Drizzle Beta, so just a weak version of Starstorm. This is all we got. So <laughs> here we go. And we're dead. <laughs> you can expect this to happen a lot in early game when you have a lot of curse flags on. Anyway, one check I want to make is we can uh, check in with Apple Kid, give him some food and some money, get a key item from him. If you want to walk all the way to the end of town to get that present box, it's a good idea to do so, and then just uh, teleport back to Tucson's main entrance. Now let's rob you first. HP sucker inside? Well, that's a item for Griff. Go ahead and give you that bag of fries. And, oh, let's see what this enemy is here. Uh, easy peasy. Fortunately, we're fully healed. I don't need the butterfly. Might as well just grab this now. Having the fast walk really helps, too. Back, ba oh, junk. Yeah, just uh, basically push the R button for quick swap. And put, then back out, you can have the option to drop an item. I definitely want to check out oh, the boss fight here. It looks like Starman Jr. Ah, I don't have a psychic shield. Actually, that might be Starman Deluxe. There are fly honey, so... That puts Saturn Valley in logic. Starman Jr. Well, how much is this going to hurt? And you're dead. And you're dead. Ah, and you're dead. <laughs> yep, I uh, need at least flame pendants against him. But I'm going to take my chances and head for Peaceful Rest Valley. Because if Paul is there, full, having a full team will help significantly. Let's outrun the taxi cab there. Sorry, Pooh.
Now, Peaceful Rest Valley show up usually... I usually have it run it... I usually uh, have it show up in Logic near the end of the game, so seeing it early... Oh, boy. <laughs> seeing it early is unusual. Wait a sec, we haven't found Polly yet. Now, there are a few other flags I did not turn on, the main one being snake tag mode, which is basically you are running for your life throughout the entire game from a snake that's chasing you down. If it touches you, it's instant death. It is a very stressful way of playing the game. <laughs> and easy, easy death is basically required. The other one I did not turn on was shuffling food item names. Because I finally... I, I find that... I find that uh, more annoying than interesting. Sporma. Because that also rearranges the names of the items you need for the Monkey Cave. And the Monkey Cave is my least favorite dungeon in this game. Oh, UFO engine. That basically... <laughs> we take that back to 3 to put that in the UFO. That gives us passage to Summers. But since we started at Summers, we don't have to worry about that. Hyper Beam, better than the stun gun. I know that immediately. Instant win. But basically, taking the UFO engine and putting that back in. Yep, free trip to summers. You do not stop in winters like you do in vanilla. Oh, capsule! Always give a speed capsule to Ness, because he is the slowest. Couple life noodles, excellent. Give that to Pooh, he's, a, he's our primary healer. And after I take care of the next couple dungeons, I'm definitely going to want to go back to 3 and get the Diadem of Kings. Go ahead and grab the last item in the valley, way back here. Frailty Spritz. That's just a one-time use item for Ref. I don't use those. They just aren't worth it. First order of business. Create a save point. In case I die, I just respawn back in the drugstore. And that's right, that fence goes all the way. Oh, let's check the shop while we're here. Oh, hello! Yeah, I, I will grab that as soon as I get the money for it. Yeah, Frankie Steinmark too, watching over the basket there. That'll be enough for a sword of kings. And, well, the item of kings here, but it's just going to be more convenient to go back to three. Okay, good. Run right into the butterfly! Oh, you're an enemy. <laughs> you're not an item. And we'll be honest, so just give that to Pooh. Actually give him some decent offense. That's the primary reason you ever want to turn on Shop Sanity, is that can give uh, Pooh's equipment. Rather than have to, you can check every single gift box in the game. Hey! Hola! Two! Two Franklin badges! And of course, we have the key to the cabin. Oh, instant Paula. So we don't have any equipment for her, but I just have this. Go ahead and give her the spare Franklin badge. So early full party, very very welcome. And instant win. What level are you at, Paula? So twenty-five. Yeah, both her and Gref. So with the Franklin badge. We can take care of the uh, Mr. Car Painter spot here. Let's go ahead and buy Paula a bracelet. 
Oh, coin of slumber, but we can't afford, unfortunately. Maybe after the cave. And oh, the lag. Wanna go this way. Wanna go this way. If we find the flying man, that'll be even worse. Hey, it's the green, green part. Oh. IQ Castle. Uh, contrary to popular opinion, never give IQ Castles to Jeff. Give them to Pooh. Because he's the one who needs it, as that influences his PP gain. Got us banned! <laughs> so... <laughs> Here you go, Paula. End game equipment right there. So this may not be an early logic. <laughs> we'll, see how, we'll see how badly we get roasted here. Of course, you need the you need the Franklin badge in order to do this battle. Oh, Titanic Ann and some worthless attack slugs. They're just normal attack slugs. Oh, you've got Star Storm, excellent. Okay, fire the rocket launcher and bomb. Goodbye, Teddy Bear. Okay, good. No, no shield. And it might be better just for you to shoot, Jeff. I keep going to goods. I'm too used to, I'm too used to firing rocket launchers from the items menu. Thank you. Oh, nice bit of scratch experience. Oh my goodness. Double UFO engine, which is totally not needed. So I don't know how much money I got uh, out of that, but if it's enough for a, a coin for Paul, that'll be perfect. Actually, it might help if I withdraw. <laughs> oh, excellent. Excellent. Eh? And one thing I do to make these seeds a bit more convenient is I set the experience and money gain to 300%. That way you basically never have to grind. Of course, you may still have to deal with some asshole bosses, but... <laughs> oh, shine this book. I think I'm just going to have to call Escargo Express and have them hold on to those two UFO engines. But the nice thing about the loose key items is that does allow for some nice uh, sequence breaks. Frailty shower, so for item for Jeff. Lowers defense of all enemies. That might come in handy if we get a boss that either lowers our offense or we're just not dealing a lot of physical damage to. Alright, are you the bears? You're walking like bears. We'll never know. What capsule? I basically just give those to Ness. Or Narf! Oh, okay, the second sanctuary location. Basically, the higher the number, the more difficult they are. Oh, hi, Boogie Tent. Let's uh, do a check on shields. Oh, well, easy peasy. And hey, 45 minutes in, we finally reached our first sanctuary. <laughs> Those little put steps. Let's see. I'm going to go to Saturn Valley. Let's see what we got there. And take care of Belch's base while we're here. As well as the sanctuary location there, so we got plenty we can do here. With the Onet music. Now, one of the key items required for Go Mode is the meteorite piece, so we always want to keep an eye out for that.
And a diamond, but we don't have access to foresight. Eddie Bear. That back to you, Paula. Rock candy? Give that to Paula. Well, uh, even better for Ness. And of course, the shop. Good from you. I like the I like the blue ATM here. Still don't have enough for Diadema Kings. <laughs> Alright, nothing nothing good here, so we are earlier in logic. I'm just gonna get rid of some key items that we don't need. Namely the double UFO engines. I can hold on to the others. All right, wait for Escargot Express. Sometimes Escargot Express is smart, other times not so much. Well, you're taking too long. I'll call you again in Tucson. First, we could wait for Escargot Express to show up while we're waiting three minutes to get into Belch's base. Well, joke's on that because we don't have to wait three minutes to get into Belch's base. You just need to fly, honey. There he is. Well, that saves me 18 bucks. Vital Castle. Essential for Paula. And that other gift box in here was down here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Quartz crystal. Item for or Jeff. I really don't use those. Yeah, I was meant to come here before going to Peaceful Rest Valley. I don't expect to get a lot of experience. So we lost our fly honey, but immediately get in. Wow, the arcade's really expanded. Yep, instant win. Not getting a lot of experience, unfortunately. Oh, eraser eraser, so... <laughs> once we get access to Winters, which requires the teleport and the pack of bubblegum, we can do all of it. Protractor, junk. Extra rocket launcher, don't need it. Of course, uh, finishing here will get us access to Foreside. And where are all the enemies? This is the cleanest factory I've ever seen! Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Tilly controller. Hand aid! Oh, hold on to that. Capsule! And a great charm. Actually, Paula does not have any charm equipped, so that's you. Double check. Yep. And that's the butterfly room. Ignore it. Ah, oh, try to get the jump on us, huh? No good. Who's our master belt? It's car painter. <laughs> well, uh, half his attacks are going to be useless because we have two Franklin badges. And he dead. <laughs> yeah, I was meant to come here first. 